We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Stanton at the track. The wall. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. At the plate now, Hanser Alberto. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. On the ground to the right side, Mayhew's got it, and there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Drilled on the ground is short. Scooped up. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Standing in, Gio Urshela. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. The third base Standing yeah. in now, Miguel Andujar. Andujar takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is good. The second base DJ. At the plate, DJ Lemayhew. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty change up away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. His career numbers in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. In at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. To the plate now, Torres. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. And the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. He set the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Anthony Santander the next to bat as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second inning the one one home into center field line drive base hit 
So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. The center fielder, Austin. Stepping in now, Austin Hayes. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Ready now, Ramon Urias. Ramon Urias. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Coming to the plate now, Pedro Severino. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Now the one and one pitch. He's in there for strike number two. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. The 2 2 one more time. Okay. On deck, the powerful Chris Davis. Another full count pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. Santander over at second. Urias is over at first with one away. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The first base Set to get his evening at the plate started, Chris Davis. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Good battle. Count remains full. Ready with the payoff pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Okay. Ready with the 2-1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. half of the second set to go digging in now for the Yankees Luke Voigt and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season hard hit toward the hole Iglesias is there and the throw to first is in time one gun now batting Gary Sanchez he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest the 1-1 home and he fouls this one off. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. The one one. This one's down to third. Alberto fields it cleanly. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. Late Hanser Alberto. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. 
count is one and two now. Got him swinging in the dirt. Sanchez is after it. And he makes the throw to first. Alberto is retired, and there's one away. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, 3 and 2. Renato Nunez will be next. Hit hard up the middle. And there are two away now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And that misses two and two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball, put himself right back in this at bat. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hit. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Digging in, Gio Urshela as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first in time. One away. One out here in the Yankees third inning. And striding into the plate. It'll be Miguel Andujar. Now the 2-1 pitch. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. On a gift of a swing there. It's three and two now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes on the run for it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. The 1-1. One -one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Fouled off. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Anthony Santander. He reached on a single in his first try. Grounded to short. Reined in. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Austin Hayes the next to bat, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. The 1-1. This one's down to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. One well, with first following the error. And that'll give way to the rookie second baseman, Ramon Urias. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take. And it's to two and one now. Throw over to first. And he'll get back in safely. One run, two hits, one error thus far for Baltimore. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. And it's fouled away. the 2-2 and there he goes towards second a swing and a shot hit down the corner and that nearly broke our tie but instead it's a foul ball high and deep down the left field line 
Near the stands, and he brings this one back in. He took that right out of the first row. Wow. So digging in now, Pedro Severino. He drew a walk his first time up. Here's the 1-1. Nope, not bad. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back in standing. Now the 2-1, and he fouls this one off. Swing and a high chopper. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Aaron Judge. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Hot shot on the ground is short. Iglesias is up with it. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 2 2. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. Okay. A little bit outside. Two and one. Grounded up the first baseline to Iglesias for one. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. In now for the O's. Chris Davis. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right to him. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. One run, two hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Iglesias in front, three and one. The three one. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. In comes Judge, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Up next for the Orioles, the third baseman. Alberto into the box now Hanser Alberto and a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball below the zone a swing and a miss great pitch in that situation if he makes contact on that one more than likely he's hitting into a double play here now the 2 2 hit in the air to center field. Gardner is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So here's Trey Mancini. He was a ground out victim last time up. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Now a curveball misses inside. Sliced hard on the ground. LeMay here with a great stop. Touche, sir. <laughs> Digging in, Luke Voigt, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1 home. There's a fastball that misses. Back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gone. 
Digging in for his second at bat, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Chopped on the ground over to first. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Jay Happ will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 33. And here's Renato Nunez. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Ready now for Baltimore. Anthony Santander, one for two on his line so far in the game. The 1-1. One, one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Into the second deck and gone. So now to the plate, Austin Hayes. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now, back now to the plate, second Ramon three. Urias. Ramon. 0 for 1 for him here Ramon. in this one. Right side. LeMahieu with a great stop. It's there, and he's out. Giovanni Urshela. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 1-1. This is flared out towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. In the air, down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. 2-2. Ground ball right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. To the plate now. DJ LeMayhew. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Into right field, that's a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Brandon Bailey is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. At the plate, Aaron Judge. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he's safe. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. In now is the Yankees' D.H. Torres. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The 2-1 home. Fouled off. Rounded to third. This could be two. To second for one. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. Yeah. 
seventh inning ready to roll. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. He was a ground out victim last time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now that ball's hit well. Deep down the left field line. Headed toward the foul pole. And that ball will stay fair. And it's gone. A home run. Ben Heller will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 64. Into the box, Chris Davis. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Fastball got him looking. As that had two seam action on it, one gone. Okay. The one one home. Line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and he pops him up. In comes Judge. He can't get to it. This one's down. The batter. The third baseman. Hunter. Into the box now. Hanser Alberto. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Right. Set and the two and one pitch hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two, working for the punch out and the offering. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Judge looks up and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate now, Renato Nunez hit in the air down the right field line and foul. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Last half of the seventh here, and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least, so you know he wants to make up for it right here. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Sean Armstrong is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. And this is low, ball two, two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Two and two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. The 1-1. One, one. At the ball. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last two pitch. Balls. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. And it's fouled away. Still only one out in the inning. Oh. 
And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Lays off two and two now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Well, this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Chad Green will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 57. Digging in and looking for more, Anthony Santander. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Into the corner and slicing foul. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Austin Hayes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. 1 and 1, here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. On the move is Stanton. And he makes the catch in the corner. So stepping in, Ramon Urias. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The one and two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Judge. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Fry will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 51. Bottom of the inning now. Here's Miguel Andujar now. So far, two for three in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. In now, DJ LeMayhew. In there, and it's even now, two and two. And he fouls this one off. Another 2-2. Two, two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. The designated hitter. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Torres. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Two and one. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Pedro Severino comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. 
And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hit out towards second. LeMayhew towards second. He's got it. To Voight in time for the double play. Base is empty now after the double play. And stepping up is the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Green will put this one away and the side is retired. Michael Gibbons please. takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 60. Michael. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 2 1 home it is a fastball, then off the plate for a ball. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled away. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Digging in once again, Luke Voigt. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Here now the 2-2. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short, and that's through for a base hit. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. Fouled off. One out, one on, and a one run game. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Into the box, Brett Gardner. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last chance for the Yankees. And it's fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Checked his swing there. And did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball right down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase. But he can't get there. And a big break on defense as the tying run will be forced to stay at third on the ground rule double. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. And the slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. The 2-2 pitch. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. 
He makes the catch, and the Orioles will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Well, I think we knew this game was going to be close, but maybe not decided in the ninth inning with a run on second close. There were some elevated heart rates in both dugouts in this one. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. Baltimore used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Brandon Bailey gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Michael Givens closes the door for the save, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Orioles, five runs, seven hits, one error. They left five men on base. For the Yankees, four runs on 11 hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.